All right, so welcome back to White House Farm. Uh, what we're gonna be doing today, we're gonna re be replacing the uh, solenoid canister. Uh, it's for a P0456 code. So I've had trouble, well not trouble, it just keeps coming up. Um, the check engine light in here will come on and off. And it's been this way since I've, I've got the vehicle. So we'll start it up. Yeah, and of course it's not on, but every time it's from that P0456 code and this is what will happen. It'll run like this for months with no check engine light on and then all of a sudden it'll just come on out of nowhere and then it'll come back on. It's just annoying. So I went ahead and used the blue driver and uh, this is what came up and it said fuel cap you know, and then replace EVAP canister vent. So I'm hoping that that's what it is because I already did the fuel tank cap a long time ago because normally that's what would set it off. But as you see, this is this code is uncommon on a 05 Nissan Sentra. So hopefully this will do the trick. I mean, if not, I mean, it's not a big deal unless I'm trying to get an inspection done and then the check engine light's on at that time. <laughs> but it normally will shut off. It's just annoying. So let's go ahead and get to the underside here and pull off the old one and put this new one on and hopefully this will take care of it. And here's the part. This is all it is. And I got this on Amazon. I'll go ahead and leave the link in the description. So if you need one, you can go ahead and purchase it from the, the link. All right, let's get under there. So we gotta remove this cover first. And looks like uh, whoever had it before me, the screws or whatever are gone, so it's zip tied up there. So let me go ahead and cut those zip ties off so we can actually see what we're looking at here. So there we go. That's the piece right there. So we'll go ahead and unplug the top and we'll pull this hose off here. And then looks like there's another little holder there. We'll go ahead and pop that off. All right, got that off. in there so we should be able to turn it and get it off of there all right that's off there now all right so there's the old one we just took off and there's the new one a little bit different but they both yeah, both have to plug in and so a little bit different, but it should work. All right, so let's just clean that little area off there. So 
we got our new one. So let's go ahead and put this in here. There it goes. Really got to push on it. And this should be able to twist all the way around. And then that little plastic piece up on top will snap right in. All right. So that's in there now. Let's go ahead and plug that back in and then hook up the hose. All right, so we got the new one on there. It's connected. Let's go ahead and throw this cover back on and then start her up and see what it does. Hopefully it won't throw a code now since the code wasn't on. Let's go ahead and fire her up and see what it does. Okay, so still no check engine light, but like I said, it comes on sporadically. So that was one of the things that I was saying that it needed uh, when that when the check engine light was on. So I guess only time will tell. Um, like I said, it's not that big of a deal. It's just it's more annoying than anything. But that's usually the culprit with this. Either actually the main culprit is those uh, gas caps. Uh, a lot of times it's just such a simple fix for it. Um, and it's just, you wouldn't think it, but yeah, it's it's a gas cap. And, but I already replaced one actually from the dealership. I went there and got one because I was just wanted to make sure it was the right gas cap for it. <laughs> but uh, all right, so we'll go ahead and drive it a little bit here, and uh, we'll see. Only time will tell. But here's the old one. Like I said, a little different, but yeah, you know, I'm sure they do the same thing. So, and this was probably the original too, because it's got you know steel and stuff in it. So a little, little you can tell it's built a little bit better. But all right, so let's take her for a spin and uh, see where it goes from there. All right, guys. All right, so we're back from our ride. Uh, still no check engine light, but like I said, it's sporadic, so who knows. Uh, but that was what I was saying was wrong with it when that code did come up So hopefully that solves it and I won't have to deal with the check engine light anymore But that's how you do it really quick and simple really easy. So all right guys once again We hope you guys like enjoy subscribe and we'll see you in the next one. All right. Bye guys You can't say goodbye without saying goodbye to me. All right, Olaf. We'll see you in the next one All right. Bye Obo Hi guys!